Hi there. Today we're going to be making something called a piss easy condenser. Uh, this is to be used in a homebrew still, uh, like a T500 or a, a copperhead or something like that. Uh, a number of people have found that the existing condensers on these homebrew stills are relatively inefficient and the distillate is either coming out hot or they're getting vapour coming out or they're unable to push it as hard as they need to for, for whatever reason. Uh, now look, a, a simple modification for that is uh, very easy to do. Uh, and you'll need the following. You'll need length of tube. You'll need a piece of stainless or copper tubing. Um, as you can see, uh, this is a little bit short. Uh, you might want to make it a little bit bigger than this, uh, a little bit longer, uh, and and whatever you have on hand, you can you can simply use that. Um, a knife, some plumber's tape, and some electrical tape. Now this is not electrical tape, but it's what I have on hand, so uh, that's the best thing that I can use. Uh, so what you need to do in order to make this is that you get your piece of tubing like so and in your piece of tubing open your knife and make an incision which I've done just before then put your piece of tube down your other piece of tube measure how long it will go across there and Make another incision across here. Then, quite simply, where you've made those incisions, insert the piece of copper or stainless or whatever you have through those two holes, just like that. Plumber's tape. The plumber's tape is to be uh, wound around. Uh, I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, uh, but we'll try and do it so you can see what I'm doing here. Uh, and that's just a matter of winding it around so that the uh, incision that you made uh, becomes relatively waterproof. And uh, around the top and down like that, just just wind. Yeah, a whole lot of a whole lot of it in there. Uh, so you've got something like that, um, and then your electrician's tape. You can use that, uh, and that's just go around the outside of it, just to hold it all in place, like so. Nice and easy. Uh, takes about that long to do it which is not too long at all. Uh, then, um, whichever end you have, um, we'll take this end here because it's the one that will finish. This end here, uh, you can either wrap that in plumber's tape, like so, and so on and so forth. Then that can be pushed into the spout of the T500 or the copperhead where the existing condenser comes out. Um, or if this is a little bit bigger and the tube's a bit bigger or, or whatever you have to use, um, just make sure that you know it's a, a, um, a vapor tight seal using the plumber's tape uh, and, and just kind of jimmying it up like that. Now, say for example, this end here is sitting in your uh, in your existing condenser, then this here uh, is where you need your water to come in. So the water coming out of the condenser should come into here. And then the water coming out of the condenser comes out of here. So what you've done there is that you've effectively lengthened um, the amount of cooling that you've got there so that you can actually run this thing uh, or the, the still that you've got um, with a little bit more efficiency so you don't get that, that hot distillate and, and, and vapour and stuff coming out. Um, so I hope that, that uh, it's a fairly simple little trick, 
um, uh, and yeah, so give it a try, see if it works, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Cheers.